Welcome to the wedding series. I cannot believe the time is here. Girlies, I am in my bride-to-be era. I am in my wedding planning era. Hold on a second, let me check my phone. Girlies, I am in my bride-to-be era. I am in my fiance, my wedding planning era. And I'm so excited because ever since I was a little girl, I used to cut out catalogs. I used to cut out the wedding section in catalogs and I would like plan these weddings. I don't know if it was my wedding or if it was somebody else's wedding, but I used to plan the weddings. Anyway, I am really excited to be starting this season and sharing it with you because it's just, it's something special, isn't it? It's something special for every girl or guy that is getting married who has had dreams of their special day before. Today, I am going to go to a wedding dress fitting shop to get fitted for a dress, or at least look to see what the options are because I'm looking for a dress for the photo shoot. I will just be renting a dress or, you know, however many dresses to make sure that we get some really cute mementos and pictures to commemorate our marriage. We are currently headed out to Chonan now for the wedding dress fitting day. I'm going to what is known as a big size wedding shop. Back home, like in the Western world, I'm a mid-size girly. However, in Korea, anything from mid-size upwards is just known as big size so i'm going to a wedding dress shop actually they're a whole wedding planning business but they specialize dress wise in big size brides so we are gonna head over there now i'm gonna have a look around see what options they have hopefully be able to try on at least one dress and really what i'm trying to get the feel of is number one the pricing but also if anything actually fits with my tastes because i'm looking for a dress to rent for the wedding photo shoot um i'm not so sure that i'm gonna find what i want because everything is very korean style um which has not been my style up until now having said that i'm going there with an open mind and an open heart and hopefully i will see something that really takes my fancy it's only fitting day number one anyway, so there is no rush to decide on something now or to want something now. Let's get a move on and hopefully, hopefully I can film in there or at least take some pictures to show you. Country's really hot, isn't it? Mm. 
Sometimes, yeah. That's very pretty. Now I'm like, do I like this one or do I like the pearl one more? It's very, very pretty. Uh, oh, no, the color is really good. Welcome drink a When we stumbled into the start of our wedding planning two months ago, we were so naive. Like there was so much about wedding planning in Korea that we just did not know, that we just did not get. And it has been already a huge, huge learning curve for me to understand like what I should be doing when, what kind of fees to expect, what actually makes up a wedding here in Korea. When we started this process, we originally did not have any plans to have a wedding in Korea. Planned to do our legal marriage registration here in Korea and maybe have like a little dinner, a little get together. And then at some point later down the line, 2025, 2026, whenever, we would look to have an actual wedding ceremony in the UK. Both of our families just felt it was a little bit unfortunate to not be having a wedding and particularly for family on his side to not be having a wedding in Korea. So we then decided we were going to do something small like maybe we would just do a micro wedding in Korea. I'm talking like 20-30 people but after the trip to the UK and after seeing my side of the family I realized that oh my gosh I have so many family and friends that actually want to they are like 100 percent put me on the list i am getting a flight to korea to attend your wedding and i think it was at that point we realized like number one more people than we actually expected want to be at this wedding in korea and number two i feel like more people than we expected would have actually seen it as an unfortunate experience to not have been a part of that wedding so we've gone from looking at like 20 30 guests to maybe 80 to potentially potentially a hundred. We ended up 
cancelling the studio that we booked for the photo shoot from the big size fitting day. We ended up finding a different wedding planner, booking a different studio. So much has happened in two months. It's crazy. We've booked our venue. We've booked our photographer. We've booked our videographer. We've booked our wedding planning. We've booked our wedding photo shoot. Oh, we've booked our MC. We've got a bilingual MC. I'm so excited for that. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching the first video in the wedding planning series. I will be back with more on the wedding process, how to find a planner, how to pick a good studio, and just generally what we are doing step by step in this process to make the wedding a reality. I will speak to you soon. See you next time. <laughs>